Welcome everybody, it's Tom. Today they dropped a new trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and it's jam-packed with really cool stuff. So I'm not be going to be able to play you guys a full trailer in this video because of a couple reasons, copyright issues mainly, and also because of copyright issues, I'm going to flip the screen. So if it does look weird, go uh, do apologize and for you guys to know why it's actually flipped. So without further delay, let's get into this breakdown. So at first we kind of see this these screens just seen all these planes but we hear them say that there's an idea to find settlement ship flying to a restricted area and we just see them destroying everything and it just looks pretty brutal and just hearing all this stuff just happen then we hear then we see the infinity ward symbol then we actually see these people in this kind of gray area or not smoke or dirt area and we hear that they've been attacking in a couple different places in Switzerland and Geneva is the two places they actually mention but right after that we get our actual some actual characters being shown if you guys see in the background right there we actually see a robot so there are going to be robots like in Black Ops 3 coming in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare we just see a couple of uh, couple, just people like charging each other and then we see some people being carried, just some soldiers being injured. They're talking about this death count, it's insane. But then we get these characters and we're kind of following them out. And I believe this is actually from in-game. And we just run into this area and we turn it like bright right away. And we look up in the air and there's this giant ship. We get to see some of the settlement defense front soldiers. And they, they look at the weapons they're holding. They're kind of interesting, not too sure what to make out of them. But we're just charging at them, just looking, we're just flying back and forth. All this good stuff, people dying, explosions, and actually maybe that isn't good stuff. Again, just keep on seeing this, but then we see something very interesting. We actually see this kind of new movement system that is that's going to be inside this. I'm not too sure how you guys feel about the movement system because a lot of people want to boot on the ground, but this is insane that it's going to be this movement system is going to be everywhere, even though it's probably going to be a multiplayer too, just because of a few other things. I'll actually talk about that in a separate video. But as you guys can see, these guys just jumpy on this tank. It actually doesn't look like an exo jump, but more like a thrust jump from Black Ops 3. And continuing, we just see a more fighting for a while. After this, we after all this cool these cool fighting scenes, we actually get to get inside this whereas we what we thought to be a plane and surprise to us that it actually goes outer space and that is absolutely insane imagine how you having shit in planes like that just go out of space and all that good stuff but anyways then we just see all these explosions happening and just different scenes and actually this one right here it looks like we're actually pretty close to the sun right here because the, in the live stream earlier today if you guys didn't watch it he said there's actually a level where we're going to be fighting on an asteroid and there's going to be one side that's super hot that's 200 2000 degrees fahrenheit and the, on the opposite side it's going to be super cold i can see this happening on the ship too or maybe that's how we got there or something like that next we get this scene right here and we see this plane flying towards us but what i want to actually draw your attention to is this area behind it now this area is pretty interesting because because it doesn't really look like Earth, if you ask me. So this is probably a different planet or maybe even a moon. And I'll explain why it could be a moon in a little bit. But anyways, let's continue. We actually see this another area and we're kind of flying outer space again, which is pretty sick. I know people are not really liking the idea of going outer space and all that, but this does look really cool. If you ask me, I'm not too sure how we'll play or where we'll exactly be fighting in this part right here. You guys can see where we are by looking at the moon on the bottom left side, I believe. So this is going to be near the Earth, this fight, and I think a lot of people guess that. And to deck the next frames or next couple frames, we actually see another non-Earth-like planet. And again, we see this, we see this giant ship in the air and this looks exactly like the one we saw on the Nuketown offline screen and it looks pretty sick. So hopefully, hopefully this is going to be good. Next we see some soldiers, but this girl right here, I believe it's a girl. And if you look on her shoulder, there's a flag right there. Unfortunately, I cannot recognize the, where the flag's from. But the reason I want to point out is because in the next one, we see this uh, this guy helping this other soldier. If you look on his shoulder, we'll get a better view of this in a bit, but you can see it's a United uh, Kingdom flag. So, that, so it seems like these different countries are going to be working together to actually fight the settlement defense front. Right after that, we see some people just floating in this destroyed spaceship. I, I'm not too sure if they're dead or not. They kind of look dead, if you ask me. And plus, if you don't, it doesn't look like they have any air going to them. So I believe these people are dead. Next, we see this robot kind of just throwing over this tank. I'm not too sure what this is all about, but 
it it does seem strange I, this one's kind of pushing it i'm not too sure how i feel about giant robots and call of duty but anyways let's move on this is really cool because this was in advanced warfare and i'm not too sure if it was that popular or not but it looks like he used a grapple to grab this guy and pull him closer and just that uh, looks like he disconnected his air or something to kill him so that's pretty unfortunate for him especially that he's out of space if you look in the background it looks like we're not really by earth anymore because if you look at this planet in the background it doesn't look like earth to me at all i'm not too sure what it is but i do not believe it's earth next we just see ourselves just kind of destroying something or something i'm not too sure what's happening there just a bunch of explosions and we're now in this dark area and again i'm not too sure what's happening but after this we see this soldier again and look on his shoulder we get a better view of that united kingdom's flag or united kingdom whatever england whatever it, how you want to call it and he looks like he's helping us and i'm not too sure what country the character we're going to be playing as is next we see this is actually pretty cool because we see this robot actually we're like kind of floating in space kind of drifting away but we see this robot actually go and save us which is, which is really cool because i'm not too sure if they're going to introduce ai into this because this is supposed to be really far into the future and this is an artificial intelligent robot actually helping us that'd be so cool Imagine that would just be so cool if it was just so far in the future we even got this AI guy helping us out. But right after he helps us out we get another couple frames of a different robot actually attacking us unfortunately. Looks like he's going to cause some damage unfortunately. But right after that we see this giant robot again. Like, but I'm not too sure if I like the idea of giant robots. But anyways moving on we see this girl in i believe a navy uniform it looks like u.s navy uniform but i can't be 100 percent sure because this does seem like we are helping like it seems like the whole earth is going to be working together to fight the settlement defense fronts but I can, can't be 100% sure, but she does look like she's wearing a U.S. Navy uniform. We also see these names on the wall. I do not believe they hold any significance to outside the game, but probably inside the game, but we can't really explore that right now. And now that we get this really cool scene, and this is why I believe we're going to be fighting on other planets, and not only planets, but other moons, and I believe it's going to stay in our side, our solar system. I can't imagine them leaving. Actually, I know that because they announced it in the live stream. If you guys want to go check out the live stream, that's really Really good idea but as you guys can see on the image of, on screen now you can see Saturn in the background so this is probably going to end up to be one of Saturn's moons which is pretty sick and does look pretty cool next again we got some really cool frames that have, were like outer space I'm not too sure this again looks like a planet to me because you can see in the background there's like this other planet right here maybe it's a moon maybe it's just maybe I'm not too sure what it is actually then we just get our Call of Duty Infinite Warfare logo, but then we get something really cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is COD for Remaster. Just look how beautiful it looks now. Oh my gosh. This is actually from a level inside the campaign. It looks like exactly the same on how it is, except with, with way better graphics. And it just looks absolutely beautiful. We see these other scenes from other campaign levels. Some of them I don't remember, some of them I do remember because that's pretty much all I played in COD 4 was a campaign. I've never played multiplayer, so I'm not sure how much they changed when they remastered it, but either way, this still looks sick. I, sick. I'm so happy we're getting a Call of Duty remastered. So that's pretty much it for the trailer breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed. If I did miss anything, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and like. If you want to stay tuned for more Call of Duty, then go ahead and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.